Hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'll keep the introduction or the information short at the beginning and I'll do it at the end so listen right till the end because you might miss something okay welcome to the channel Cyber Angels and thank you for your faithful and uh, faith and following of uh, the, ch uh, the channel and if you're new welcome to the channel I'm using the Shadowlands and I'm using the House of Shadows. I'm also using the Mystical Sharma and I'm always using this, and that's that one, and um, a, a postcard from Spirit and the M Queen of the Moon Oracle. This is the Querent card or the overall energy Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will use the corner cards to. Um, clarify the three cards or the three cards next to the card will clarify the corner card so let's get started with you well it is swords so <laughs> you might be in your element but watch out for war or arguments or um, disagreements nobody will be the winner here as it is the five of swords so be careful what you say or what you do then we go on to Monday, and Monday we have 13. There might be new friendships, okay? And you might be, because this is also a card for a new beginning and leaving the old behind, uh, something will be built on a proper foundation as number 13 will become 4. But in the I Ching it means fellowship, so friendships. You might actually start a friendship with a Scorpio, um, as the death card also represents Scorpio. And it looks like you are coming out of your shell, like a bro the broken egg here. Okay, I love it, I love it. So there might be a person in your life that is a Scorpio, or you might be meeting a Scorpio. Perhaps you might, the Scorpio might want to provoke you into an argument or a discussion. Stay away. Say, I'll talk to the hand. I'll talk to you when you are calm. On Wednesday, you might have victory as you have the six of wands. You've moved on from a five to a six. You have victory. You have public recognition. You have a recognition from the community. This could be family or friends. Okay, you you have victory. You're the champion. Yahoo! And you're moving onwards and upwards. Okay. So you might be moving home. You might be moving your business to an other premises. Okay, that could be also be moving not only your home, but your business. Okay, um, you might be traveling. Um, you might be going on holiday. Okay, great stuff. Well, if you're going on holiday or a short break, have a wonderful time. Sorry for slurping. I'm just drinking a bit of water. Um. On uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the, you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is Libra. Okay, the Queen of Swords is Libra. So you might be dealing with a Libra. Also, what I'm hearing is Libra or Scorpio time. That is. Um, end of September to the end of October might be a significant time okay now it don't exclude Gemini and other Gemini or an Aquarian you might be meeting one of these the Queen of Swords stands for wisdom proper communication okay communication in general also justice clarity honesty if you in if you are in a in a judicial situation with somebody and they want to provoke you into an argument or anything like that 
then it is very wise to get the Queen of Swords to fight on your behalf, behalf because she will cut straight through to the core and get rid of the BS. She can sell ice cubes to Eskimos and then she will get clarity and she will get justice for you. As I said, the swords stand for wisdom, communication, justice. Okay. And you will have victory. Okay. If it is fighting against an other air sign, be careful because they're sharp. They're just as sharp as you are. Okay. They know how to communicate. So you have to be two steps in front of them and dig into the history. Perhaps of the do uh, file or go and do some research. She's looking in the bookcase here. She wants more information. So watch out what you say. Get more information before you go into battle. I love these cards. And look, at the weekend, you might not be focusing on what is at hand. Um, because you might be resting, you might be dreaming. Well, that is not going to get justice and victory for you, is it? So you might take the weekend um, to wake up and to look around you. Look at this. Some things are happening. He's just looking at what is in front of him and not what is behind him or around him. Like I said, start digging for history. I don't know why I said history, but something has led to something and it has a history. Perhaps it's a repeat. Perhaps something has come in to now to test you, to test your uh, wittiness, your intelligence. So look back um, whether this sort of incident or like it has happened before. You've got a fall, so that means something will be built on proper foundations. So you will build your knowledge to go against this person that wants to discussion. You will be able to sell ice cubes to the Eskimo, right? Because you've done your duty and done the research. You've gone back into history. You haven't been looking just in front of you. You've been looking around you and back and see what the score was. And once you've got that information, you can win. Wow. Now, you know that if I do a one-on-one -on -one reading, I also read up and down and across and the diamond, etc., etc., etc. I'm only picking nitpicking the, the surface okay so now we're going to the first card of the corner and you've got the house perhaps you haven't got your house in order perhaps you have haven't been sitting still Gemini with the lockdown and you are hiding away uh, I get with these two cards because He's lying there uh, thinking and not being active. You might be depressed because of the lockdown. Although it is easing up, you have 444. Four, four. So this is a significant number, 44, four, or the 1 and 3 becomes a 4, 3 fours. So watch out for that number. And come out of your head and start taking action. Look what is around you, like I said and come out of isolation okay get your house in order get your brain in order in other words as well there's too many things going on too many ideas there might be something from the past you can see the ghosts here and I've been talking about the past okay your dreams can come true because you can leave the past but you have to sort out the right the route the right foundation to start off from okay to avoid arguments so come into action get the information make the right start make sure your uh, your foundation is solid 
and then you have something for a long time. Four, four, four. Build it on proper foundations. Learn that. Okay. There will be an offer made to you. And then usually it's the Four of Cups. You see a hand coming out. Only the Aces and the Four of Cups has the, the hand of the Divine. So there might be an offer made towards you. Okay. Now, that could be anything. It could be about a house. It could be an offer on a house, and that is what you might be arguing with your partner or the buyer. That could be a Scorpio or a Gemini. Okay, so heed the warning. If you want a price 444 and they are only offering you 443, then consider the uh, possibilities. And you've got the letter. You will be receiving news. This could be official news. And it could be also um, a telephone call, a text message, or um, an email. Um, because you've done your research and you might have to write to somebody to ask a question and they are coming back with an answer and clarity so you can settle this um, this argument or discussion you might not even have to go into discussion because your ideas and your, your research brings you good news so long you stay on the true on the straight and narrow and the honest way okay it might be about a man the man might have made a proposal to you and this could be the Gemini man or um, um, a Scorpio and you're thinking about the proposal but you are doing the groundwork so that you know it's a proper foundation and it will last for a long time again this is 28 an ending you are being more business like if, it, if you're not meeting a man you'll be more business like like a man something is coming to an end a new beginning so this could be a new beginning with a, um, a person a man okay and if you are looking for love and you are a man then it could be um, a, a, a lady with a, a career um, a talent for career or career orientated okay because we've got the masculine and the feminine or in each of us or perhaps your masculinity Gemini is coming out now how does the man th there could be a man that is a Scorpio like I said you either are going uh, out with him living with him or you're going into discussion he's trying to provoke you well, be careful. Remember, the sting of um, um, a Scorpio is deadly. Wow. Okay. So before you go into action with a, a, a Scorpio, get to know your information. Okay. And you shall have victory. Learn to compromise. This is what I'm also hearing. Compromise. You don't have to back down and say no. You can compromise. But make sure that this person um, that wants a fight or is buying your house or whatever or signing contracts has your interest in heart. Okay? Clarity and honesty. We need this. Like I said, straight and narrow. Get a lawyer to help you if on Notary Public if you are signing contracts. Get the contract re-read by somebody that is qualified to do so and follow their advice then we have the fox and the fox means be careful there might be somebody wearing a mask by being sly by being analytical by being um, really difficult um, like I said if you're going into an argument with a Gemini 
okay or a Libra they know that they have the same attributes as you so know your business they'll be sly because they want to win again you've got a five here one and four is five so you've got a double number again so watch out for five five if you are working then this could that's like I said you've got the shadow side to each card and a positive card it could be your boss or somebody that's interested in you they might be watching if you're as precise as they are okay that could be a Libra and that could be a Scorpio but don't um, don't exclude Gemini and Aquarium if they are interested they want to know your background perhaps that's it so that you kn they know that you don't argue that you can discuss precisely and exactly and you know your business so cross your T's and dot your I's okay in order to win okay get the information so you won't be led down the garden path um, by the fox and I have to think of little red riding hood I don't know why and now I see that the Queen has a pink dress on and he represents the wolf so watch out for a wolf in sheep's clothing that is what I'm getting to here work to detail but it could also be somebody that wants to make you an offer okay perhaps a new job or a relationship contract or a partnership so make sure that you know who you are dealing with so that is a big warning for you gems make sure you know who you are dealing with and I think I will use that as the title okay so there is a new beginning these two cards are saying new beginnings and victory it could turn out really great wonderful because victory feels great but you have to know the background and details now the first card that I have is the vision quest and that's number six a 60 so that becomes a six 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 so that is pretty amazing as well perhaps you know what your life's quest is your vision there you are dreaming about it perhaps you are getting depressed uh, because you're not getting what you want because you don't know how to start it you might need to get advice like I said and do the research so there you go it's a beautiful card she looks like she is um, throwing out her wings and she's rising from the ashes like the Phoenix in the vision quest you face you face your fear embrace your mortality and then meet face to face with spirit when we feel stagnant boom it can't be any better said than that stagnant if we are stagnant which we usually aren't Gemini because we're always on the go a vision quest brings our lives into perspective we realize our flaws our potential and the opportunities life is now offering us we remain on the vision quest until we find the key to open a new door or write a new chapter in our lives now that's what I just said you need more information so you can open the door to new beginnings be more businesslike like a man so that you can be steadfast now the invitation of this card is find clarity boom by spending time alone preferably in nature if you live in a city or go for walks in a park okay in the park you will live you will live in the country I don't understand that sounds strange 
Okay, I'll read to start again. Find clarity by spending time alone in nature. If you live in a city, go for walks in the park. That sounds better. If you live in the country, make sure that you spend time outside. In contemplation. Okay. Get off the couch. Wow, this is amazing. Okay. Get away from your desk. Go outside. Spirit helps those who help themselves. Remember that. But stay on the straight and narrow. Okay. Because it's a good saying. God helps those that helps themselves. But usually it is the negative people that seem to get what they want. That's my vision. Okay. Spirit helps those who help themselves. So set your intention and ask nature and the divine for a guiding vision for your life. Like I said, come into action. Stop thinking. Go and find that information and get what you want. Wow. Now, we've got the uh, postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, dearest Gemini, as you think, so will you experience life. So stay positive and you will re experience life positive. Even if you're not feeling all that um, well, stay positive and in the now. Thoughts are that, po that powerful and they need minding. Let the unruling chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wrecking havoc. Oh yeah, you could say that again. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet the real truth is that essentially all is well. Boom. Of course, you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, like a bookcase, accepting, creative, open and so on. Those are the ones we want you to keep thinking, and they have a less frantic quality. They are stimulating you in a good way, and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? By meditating, of course, or contemplating. Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Okay? So don't um, judge, meditate, contemplate, evaluate. Don't judge, leave it out. Love them, love yourself, and then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back to you. Reflect, reflect victory. Okay? Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. So, think positively, meditate, contemplate, evaluate. And reflect, think what you want to be reflected back to you. Okay. Then we have wisdom. Yes, we stand for wisdom, Gemini. Use your brain. Again, books and wisdom. It is, there's books, there's books. Again, wisdom is profound. And it, that is one of our talents so use your brain do the research so you can climb up and onwards reach for the stars get your victory 22 an angels number okay the angels are with you okay now the wisdom card is the waning gibbous okay the waning moon Wisdom is more than just knowledge, Gemini, and you know that as any other. There may be something you aren't seeing and need to research. And 
That's what I've been telling you. More thoroughly, wisdom is gathered by, but it takes time. Learn from your experience. That's what I also said. You might wish to ask the opinion of a wise mentor if you are uncertain, like a legal person or a teacher or a mother figure. So she will help you. Okay? Learn from the old. Okay? Or the mature, I shouldn't say old. So use your wisdom, Gem. I love you and I really think the reading um, has sent a message across. Do the work, come out of your head by sitting or laying there and not getting things done won't get you any further. Okay. So go after what you want. If you want to start a new relationship or if you're getting an offer of a new relationship, then make sure you know the background of the person. Okay. So go for the victory and go for get your fishing, your fishing quest. Get it into reality. Okay. Listen to wise people. Don't argue with wise people, okay? With people of knowledge. So, be aware and take care and I'll see you next week. And, by the way, like I said, I will do the spiel at the end, so I hope you will stay and listen. So, please, if you are here for the first time, and uh, then please subscribe and hit the bell on all as I go live three times a week and that is on Monday, Wednesday and Friday night so join us if you've got a question I can answer that um, That I can uh, I give away free cards but I also answer questions that are supported by a, super, by a donation, a super chat or a super sticker and if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, reading with me, then please go to the website. You can do that by clicking the little white round circle circle in uh, the top right hand corner with the eye in it and it will take you to the website. And there you can also find the video uh, on the competition. You can win a deck, the Shadowlands, and also in second place, um, if the first person has not chosen the vice versa deck, because uh, the first person gets the choice of Shadowlands or vice versa, if they take the Shadowlands, then in the second place will get the vice versa, and the third place is a free reading for 20 minutes. Okay, my darlings, so make sure you join the competition and Otherwise, stay safe and uh, stay beautiful and blessed. Okay. And thank you for sharing and liking. So if you want to be the first, then keep on climbing that ladder, Gemini. Give us the likes. I love you. Take care. God bless. Oops. Sorry, Gemini. Um, what I will do is I will let you know. i put a notification out. Um... Uh, bef uh, uh, around dinner time, my time, 6 o'clock, so it could be 12 o'clock uh, if you are living in uh, um, Canada or in New York, um, then it will be around 12 o'clock your time, what time I go live, um, and I will also do that on my Facebook and Instagram like I usually do, but make sure that you become a member of Facebook so that you or Instagram so that you um, will be notified okay darlings so take care love you all bye bye <laughs>